Hello submarine racing fans, I'm Kevin Ripa and this is my Sands 3 Minutes Max. Today we're going to be talking about shell bags as a quick wins file, probably my favorite Windows Forensics artifact. Shell bags is a very interesting artifact that nobody's ever heard of. What does it do? Well, I'm going to show you. Here on my desktop you see this folder shell bag testing. I open it up and hmm, I don't like the size. Look at how the window opened up. I want to make it a lot smaller. I don't want it to take up all that space on my desktop. So now I close it. Let me go open it again. It's the same size. It's the same location. How did it know? The Windows registry is keeping track of all of these settings. Remember, the registry is not there for your forensicating pleasure. It's there to help Windows enhance the user experience. So it is keeping track of this metric somewhere, and it's keeping track of it based on the name of the folder. If this folder name is in shell bags, we know the folder was opened. If it was never opened, it wouldn't be in shell bags. Well, where do we get these shell bags from? Well, I'm going to show you. It's buried deep in your system. It is a user-specific file, so we get attribution, local, Microsoft, Windows. I go through this to show you just how deep this is. Userclass.dat is that registry hive that we're looking for. It's a registry hive that we didn't talk about before in the registry. Where does that live and how does it look in the registry? Well, we can go Windows R. That's going to open up our run dialog box and we're going to type regedit. The registry editor is going to open up. We want to go into H key classes root and then we want to go into local settings. This is hugely deep. If you look at my taskbar, you can see that not much is moving. So we go into local settings. I want to go into software. Microsoft, Windows, Shell, Bags. Look at that, Shell Bags. Inside Shell Bags, I want to go into Bag MRU. Each of these is a folder that was opened at some point in time, but how do we figure out which one we want? Very difficult to do. I'm going to open up 0. I'm going to click on 13. Wow, look at all of this mess. 28. What's in there? Well, I can double click and I can see in there that this is a folder called Course Test. I have no idea where course test is and it's going to be very difficult for me to rebuild this. That is the magic of shell bags. How can we pull forensic goodness out of this when it makes no sense? Well, I'm glad you asked. We're going to use another Eric Zimmerman tool, Shell Bags Explorer. Shell Bags Explorer is going to open this up and parse it in a way that's under, understandable to us. Well, that's tomorrow. And in the meantime, in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.